Hey guys, welcome back to episode 27 of Drago Alasi's Crew Mode. Uh, we changed up Drago's look a little bit. Uh, gave him cornrows, a beard, and we got a new tattoo. We put it below his lion, and we put condition to conquer. We need to get back to being more patient and using our conditioning to beat people instead of our power. Just been getting too comfortable. Save those changes. I was not expecting to lose to Safadine. He just had that amazing clinch game, which I thought he was only like 85 grappling. I didn't think his clinch game would be that good. I thought our clinch game, because we're level 5 in like every clinch now. Thought our clinch game would beat his. Wonder Boy's the champ. I guess Jorge lost to Wonder Boy. Or we could fight Hector Lombard. We want our title back. It's like it's title season. We just beat Wonder Boy in the fight before Safadine, so feeling confident. Go back to striking gym, and when I come back, we'll be fighting Wonder Boy. Welcome back, guys. Episode twenty-seven. Got done with training. It's time for our title shot. Even though we lost our last fight, let's get Wonder Boy. He was probably mad that we beat him last time we fought. Go our red trunks. Fight slow hype. I'm Megan Olivi, and here's what you need to know in your UFC minute. This weekend, we have a stacked card with tons of solid fights. My title bet. You won't want to miss. When this fighter first began competing, the goal was always the same for the talented mixed martial artist to win a world championship. This weekend, live from Saitama Super Arena in Tokyo, Japan, the star gets his long-awaited crack at the UFC welterweight crown in a fight that has fans around the world buzzing. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. Coming up next, how good is this? A matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Lucky Wonder Boy Salty. So I get my title shot. All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender. Getting set to challenge. Nope, I'm number the five. Pound title. Took a long I wanted to fight, had to beat him. He's not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week. He's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is going to maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. As he makes his way towards the cage, his preparation has been perfect. He is in fantastic shape, had an amazing camp, and he believes that he is in the perfect position to become the new champion of the world. As he steps into the octagon right now, he steps in with a champion's mindset. Get it. He is the boy. defending undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world and in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that I think he just corner, won the title. He, walk away and he had to have, because he's in probably focus. fighting. He is in his prime. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. Or tell the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Thompson is 12 years his senior. He is one inch tall. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. 
All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Bump. Get it. He Wonder Boy again. Let's see, welterweight championship is up for grabs right now. All right, ready to go for round one now. He lost his last fight by devastating knockout, and that's been a lot of what you've been hearing about here during fight week. How does this young man, this young contender, respond? Oh! He's got him hurt here. Oh, he might be out. Oh, big left. Effective punch there by Wonder Boy Thompson. They're going after it quick here. Oh, he got Missed it. With the jab there, Joe, and his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see oh, if he can make some knee. adjustments here. Oh, huge knee to the head, Joe. We'll see if he can follow up. The left hook hits home. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Thompson. Oh, and he goes up top with the kick. Come on, Wonder Boy. Body kick, look at that. What? Three minutes now to go around one. Oh, another body kick. Don't beat my body up. Oh, he missed that kick. I don't think I put high altitude on, so I'm gonna have to finish him. Wonderboy Thompson got double underhooks. Nope, Wonderboy. Oh, tags to the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Both fighters back to their feet now. Double underhooks. Yeah, and here he goes again. Ooh, we just watched superior wrestling. Oh, come on. Trying to spin to the back. Is a one none. Wonder Boy gets back up again. He eats a high one. Finds a home for that left hook. Oh, very nice. And now starting to snap off that jab. Oh my gosh. Try to establish that jab. And he gets hit with an outside leg kick. Oh! Finally. The champ is rocked. He's in big play. Oh, big left hand. Hard straight punch. Big shots. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Oh, another one. What the heck? Nope. Dang. Definitely won that round. Get the second round started. Gotta watch my body. Alright, round two. That last round was absolutely insane. If this round gets off to anything like the last round, one of these guys is going out. I can you where they left off in the last round that one of these guys doesn't get knocked out. Well, if oh. there was any knock on this guy, it was just that his striking wasn't up to the level Come on. of his grappling and his wrestling. So what does he do? He's not resting on his... Oh! He hurt him! This could be it! <laughs> this fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Whoa! No wonder, boy. Mom. Double underhooks here. Thompson's pummeling works in that underhook. How about that chin? Ooh. Tired. Oh, oh, he might be out. This could be it for you. Hits the kick in the face. It's my UFC title. Come on. He's back to his feet, but he's hurt. What? I'm blocking it. Nice work here on the clinch by Thompson. Oh, so another head kick lands now, at least partially. So several of those have found the target in this round. And now you can see the damage really starting to take effect on his opponent. Exactly. <laughs> well, he just hasn't been efficient with the strikes here tonight. There's another swing and a miss. And oh! Front kick to the face! Two shots there! 
He is clearly in big, big trouble here. Beautiful man. I can avoid that left Come on, bud. Come on. Yeah. We did it. Got our title back. Yes. Made a comeback. He beat us up that first round. He just wasn't blocking those front kicks. Mission accomplished right there. And here we see the stunning knockout that crowned a new champion. Right when it lands, right hook. the legs give out. He goes limp. Cruz Buffer now with the official decision. Oof. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called us off to this contest. We just got Wonder Boy's number. 22 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new. So some UFC history tonight as we crown a new UFC champion. Congratulations to fighter and team. And man, are they going to enjoy this one. A lot of people not giving them a chance coming. Went from Cerrone to Masvidal to Thompson. That at Back to me. People just thought we wouldn't see. New champion here tonight. The longtime incumbent is out. There is a new sheriff in town in this division. And it is going to take a big performance to dethrone the new Dang, we're almost going to have to retire because of our longevity. Defend it as many times as hey we can. Everyone, I'm Megan O'Leavy, and here's what you need to know for your UFC Minute. To reach the masses in this day and age, it's not enough just to win fights. Today, a UFC competitor has to put on dominant and exciting performances, and that's just what this charismatic rising star has been doing. As a result, this fighter has been piling up followers on social media, with each victory adding more and more fans to his bandwagon. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. Yep. I'll do it for this episode guys uh, like subscribe share catch you in the next one bye uh.